We know specifically in the Lambton subregion, where Sarnia is the major city, there are high air pollution levels there in comparison to these other for all practical purposes, very comparable cities. So we could really see what is the exposure influence on the development of asthma for children being born in these three cities. What we saw was really interesting. We call it a dose response effect. So the more air pollution there was, the higher was the risk of children being born in that area developing asthma. And when we talk about more air pollution, I don't mean just the quantity, but also the types of air pollutants. So while a city like Windsor is exposed to a lot of traffic related air pollution being close to the border with the United States, a lot of transportation happening between the two countries, Sarnia has a similar setup also being close to the border and being a transport route. But in addition, it has all of these industrial air pollutants that um, can increase the amount and types of air pollution in the skies that people are then exposed to. So, so we saw, you know, as a result of that, higher asthma rates in Sarnia area, slightly less in Windsor, and then the lowest in London, where you have far less traffic and industrial air pollution. We need these studies to reach the broader public, as well as our governments and our politicians, so that we can do something about it. Simply having the knowledge is not enough. We then need to take action. 